Hi everybody. Uh, I thought I'd make a quick video here to show you how to log in to Zoom using the school's new site license and how to integrate Zoom into your Canvas course. I've been getting several questions about that last day or two, so I thought I'd make a quick video to show you. First of all, you need to log into Zoom using the single sign-on. So if you open up Zoom, uh, if you're already logged in, you should, you should sign out of Zoom on the app so that you're back to a sign-in screen. And what you're going to want to do is click this option to sign in with SSO. SSO stands for single sign-on. And uh, you're going to click that, and it's going to ask you for the company domain. And you're going to type UNCSA. So it'll say uncsa.zoom.us. Then click continue. And it should take you in your web browser to this screen where you can log in with your School of the Arts account. So I'll go ahead and do that. Uh, and then it's going to ask you if you want to open Zoom. So yeah, go ahead and open Zoom. And now I'm logged in. Now, if you already have an account with Zoom that uses your UNCSA email address, you will get a message here that prompting you that it's going to merge those accounts. And that's okay. Go ahead and say, yeah, go ahead, do it because that will take all your current settings in the account you've been using and it will merge them into this one with the school. And the reason you want to do that is because now you get access to some of the pro subscription features like uh, extended time, uh, you don't have any time limit anymore, you don't have uh, to, so you don't have to worry about that, but it'll also give you the access to cloud recordings, which is really important because if you want to record your Zoom conference for your class so you can make it available to students afterwards who weren't able to join, you can store that video with Zoom instead of in your Canvas course or somewhere else, and then you don't have to worry about the storage space in your Dropbox or in Canvas or whatever. Okay, so now that I'm in, let me show you now how to access this in Canvas. So here's my Canvas dashboard, and I'm going to go into one of my courses here, and you can now add Zoom into your navigation section here. So click on Settings, and now go to the Navigation tab, and you'll see, these are all the different things that you can have the students see in their navigation. If you go down to the bottom here, you should see something now called Zoom. So you're going to take that and drag that up here into this top section somewhere. It doesn't matter where, just whatever order you'd like it to look. Then hit Save. So now it's in there and you'll see you've got that link for Zoom over here now. Now if I go into Student View, this is what the students see. And notice there's now a link for Zoom. So now that we're in, let's go into Zoom here. And notice now Zoom is set is working inside of Canvas. And here you can schedule uh, your conferences just right here inside of Canvas. So you can say schedule a new meeting, and you can set up all of your you know, descriptions and the date and time and how long you think it's going to be, uh, whether you're going to have video. Uh, the one you're really going to want to turn on is this option to record the meeting automatically. That way you don't have to worry about forgetting. But make sure you also click this option for in the cloud because it's going to store this recording with Zoom in their uh, server, which means you don't have to worry about where it is or how you're going to make room for it. So once you have that, you can hit save and it'll schedule your meeting. And you can see now that I've got one scheduled. And so whenever it comes time to do it, I'm just going to hit start, and the students will see this. So when they go into their view, they'll see this. Uh, let's test that here. So I'm going to go to student view and go to Zoom. And the students now can see that there's a Zoom conference scheduled for Monday morning. And when they're ready, they can hit join, and they'll be able to get in. So uh, now what will happen is if you go, uh, let's say you've recorded it, you're, you now want to post it into Zoom. So I'm going to go to uh, the Zoom website and I'm going to do uncsa.zoom.us and sign in here. And if you go over in your Zoom account on the web, over here to this navigation where it says recordings, you'll see the recording here. So here is a recording that I made uh, already for, of a thing with my students. And from here, you would be able to, you could watch it right here on this page, but you can also, if you go back here, there's this option to share. 
And this is a link right here to the recording. So I'm going to copy this link. And now I'm going to go back to Canvas and maybe inside of one of your course modules. So here's, here's my module for this section of my course. So I'm going to add a section in here and I'm going to select external URL and I'm going to paste that link in there. And then I'm going to call this uh, Zoom recording. I'm going to add that item and publish it to the students. And now what will happen is when the students click on that, they'll be able to watch that recording right here inside of Canvas. Uh, and looks like it's going to make me download it, uh, this particular video. So, it, But the students should be able to download it from there and see it. They can also hit this link to take it straight into a window in Zoom and watch it there. So that way they can watch the recordings after the fact. Uh, not sure why it's not playing in my window right now, uh, but maybe we'll figure that out later. But in the meantime, the students can click on that link and they can watch it. So uh, hopefully that's helpful uh, and you can get Zoom logged in with your school account and integrated into Canvas. Hope this helps.